Hi, I'm Emily Black with the Public Information Office. And I'm Chris Sweckard with Code Compliance. Here's a look at what's going on in your city. The City of Dallas is giving citizens the opportunity to voice their opinions about important budget issues by completing a quick survey. Citizens can provide feedback on issues ranging from infrastructure to code compliance. You'll find this survey at DallasCityNews.net. Mayor Mike Rawlings announced the creation of a new commission to focus on long-term strategies to address homelessness in the City of Dallas. The Commission will develop strategies by comparing the City's current procedures to similar communities. They will also look for ways to increase the availability of affordable and supportive housing. The City Council will vote on a recommendation to establish an urban forestry department. Currently, no urban foresters oversee or manage the 14.7 million trees in Dallas medians and parkways, and one urban forester oversees the Great Trinity Forest watershed. The department would maintain the current urban forest and plant replacement trees. Atmos requested a base rate increase, which would increase the average residential customer's bill by $2.17. The City Council must decide whether or not to approve the increase by May 30th. Illegal dumping is a frequent complaint in the City of Dallas. City leaders are fighting back with a new campaign called Real Trash Talk. And Chris, what can Dallas residents expect to see as we roll this campaign out? Billboards, social media pushes, wanted individuals, arrests, and hopefully a decrease in illegal dumping. We want to help residents understand that this is not a minor offense. It's a crime. Consequences for illegally dumping in Dallas can range from 180 days in jail to two years in a state jail facility, plus fines. And tell me a little bit about what the city of Dallas is already doing to curb illegal dumping. The Dallas Marshal's Office arrested more than 115 people for illegal dumping during the 2015-16 fiscal year. We have identified more than 60 chronic dumping sites. Code Compliance is working with the Marshal's Office to monitor those hotspots with patrols and surveillance systems, including more than 50 cameras. We are seeing positive results, and I encourage people to report illegal dumping by calling 311 or 911 if the illegal dumping is in progress. Thanks so much, Chris. And for more information on these stories and more, visit DallasCityNews.net.